Hi there. Um, today I'm going to make some uh, vellum pockets using um, <clears throat> some some book images. So I've they cut out into um, squares. I've backed them with any old you know card packaging laying about because you know I want them to be a sturdy pocket. They're not thick card. I think they're mainly from from cereal. Uh, boxes and uh, some of from the back of um, paper packs so I've already uh, backed them now this video was inspired by the lovely Denise at Junk Journals Junkie UK and uh, she's been playing with vellum as well and when she did this I thought ha ha <laughs> so I'm going to show you the way that I've done it I'm not a measurer as soon as measurements and little bits of eighths and all the rest of it get involved, um, my head explodes. So I thought, you know, this will be simple. These will be on an inch or on a centimetre and they're not. So the way I did it <coughs> was I've got some coloured vellum. Um, I think these are from uh, the Bluebell Wood kit um, and I've just printed them on vellum and I've got a plain piece of vellum so what I did oh let me show you on on this so I'm gonna put this here so I know I want a centimeter um, let me show you so I've, I've tucked it around the back so I want a centimetre and I want a centimetre and that saves me having to count eighths and, and all the rest of it. So I've just got one centimetre and then one centimetre from the card. Um, I'm not going to do that at the bottom, I'm just going to cut that um, down. How did I do it last time? Because I didn't do it that way, I did it that way. Because I've only got my uh, little cutter out. I don't want to drag the, the big one, the big one out. Ugh. I wonder if this will rip nicely. Let's let's give it <coughs> let's give it a go. So yeah, the last time I did it that way, so I could just get it into my little um, cutter. Okay, so not bad, not bad at all. And I'm thinking on this one, I'm going to do a full one. Yeah. So I'm going to place that there and I'm going to mark one centimetre. Yeah. And then the next part, because I might as well cut both at the same time, I'll cut it down um, again. Okay, let's um, let's cut that down. I hope that made uh, sense because to me that that's easier for me. It works. It works for me. May not work um, for you. Yeah, that's right. Let's just put that down so I don't injure myself. Yeah. So I'm obviously going to cut that one down um, a little bit. So I don't want two full ones. Okay, so I'm going to, I think, do a thingy at the side, a little thumb hole. Um, let's find something that I can cut with it. I've just got this out of my bin. So we know that it's going to be folded I think I best do it at the top actually. So we know that's going to be folded. So I want to find the middle. So I'm just going to fold it over and just pinch it. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to actually mark that. That's it. And I'm just going to put a small um, divot in. So 
So that's that. Then I'm going to wrap <coughs> that around there. I've got uh, a tape runner. You could use um, double-sided tape or you could use your glue because you're not going to you're not going to see the back because they're going to be stuck stuck down i think it's a bit off off center at the top but i can obviously cut it cut it down so i'm <coughs> just going to fold that down I've just ordered some more of those tape runners and I've had um, the Crafters Companion ones, the, the purple ones, because um, I think they've got 22 metres on, whereas a lot of these other ones have either got 6 or 10 on. So at first I thought there was 4 Crafters Companion ones and I thought, oh, they do. But once I worked out, it was like, you got 88 metres, it actually worked out a lot cheaper. And I only use really this this for vellum. I have got some um, small score tape, but, well, it's not even score tape, it is double-sided tape, um, and I just don't, don't get on with that. So apart from there, which I'll just, Put down so that is our little pocket so you know I could always cut one of these down <coughs> and just take the sides off and then that would would fit in there um oh yeah look yeah I like that oh. <laughs> now I can't pull it out so that's that one and then we've got this double one here. So we've got a small one at the bottom and another one there. So we'll do another one um, like that. I've got some bits out just to put a little bit of decoration on. Now that's a bit ripped at the bottom. So we'll start from here. So I can really cut it off at, at any size. I'm going to cut that <coughs> ripped off. So if I do a smaller one and a bigger one, so we've got that. Let's try and straighten, straighten it up. Let's crease it around. And even putting the flap around the back, it's it's better than gluing down the front because obviously you do lose some space if you've glued round here, but you've got all of, of this um, and it does tend to be um, baggier than it would be if you directly um, put it down forgot to do those corners or just do those because even though vellum's only thin it does it does bulk up surprisingly so I'm just gonna do that so that's the the first one and then pop the second one here don't think that's straight so let me just straighten straighten it off that's better So now I know it's straight, I can, probably would have been easier if I'd have used my mat. Okay, so, go down there. Okay, down that one, <coughs> good. Buttons off. Oop. Oop. Went a bit funny there, but that's fine. I think this is nearly nearly run out. Uh, 
and there we have a double a double pocket so that's another one um i'm gonna do a side oh no i don't want to do a side one i've just said that didn't i let's do a full one um in in the colored so this is a really pale um green so i do want to measure that got a centimeter that's it if i can see it okay and then we'll do we'll do a, a single uh pocket and then i think we'll do um some like bands and some side uh tucks as well so i just did as many um of these cards as i had um scrap uh packaging so I've run out of cereal boxes at the minute now. I've not put a divot in, have I? Let's, um, let's take it on. Oh, let's... <laughs> oh, no. Right, let's, um, let's put that there. I think if I do, if I do that, so that stick is down. And then I can open it. Got okay. Um, I'm guessing. Mm, I'm gonna have to guess the middle. Let's. I think it's about there. Let me put a mark. Oh, I can't see it, can I? That's it. straighten it out just using my nail to, to press that down I don't know the vellum might not have been um, cut straight but as long as I've got enough to bring it over and they will be you know attached to to a page and let's cut these off Like so. I always use these up, upside down and they don't like to work upside down. I don't know if that's... I think I, that could have run out. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's funny, when they get to the point where they're going to run out, they kind of fall, fall to bits. Right, I'm going to have to... Use use the tape. So I've not used this for a long while, so I don't know how sticky it is. Okay. I don't know if that red line tape's easier um, to use or or what. But um, yeah, I don't find this easy to use. I find you've got to really seem to have to really press it down. Maybe there's just a way and I don't have the way. Oh gosh, this is going to really slow, slow it down. Right, I'll cut that bit off. Ah, I know what I could do. I've got my stick, haven't I, from those transfers. Okay, see if that's done it. I think it has, yeah. So, that's that one. Let's cut um, that top down. Okay, so that's another full one. So we'll do one um, with just half a pocket. So I'll cut that in half. Like so. 
sign. Okay. So I wonder if I'd be better. I don't know. I don't suppose it matters. Put in that there. Up there. Yeah. I really ought to use this before I do use the <coughs> the new tape guns because I'd obviously prefer to use the other um, but I have got two rolls of that so I ought to get it used, used up because I'm sure it'll dry out at some part, point. Okay. I'll we'll just peel it up. Ish. Yeah. Okay. Straighten that. Yeah. This way it just feels a lot more fiddlier for me. Okay. Pull it up. But at least you've not got to wait, you know, you've not got to press it down while your glue um, dries. Oh, I don't suppose that matters. Right. Do that there. <laughs> Every time I keep getting stuck. Come on. So. And then you've got all those bits of papers, haven't you? So if you don't keep throwing them in the bin, I'm going to have a table full of bits of paper. So that's that one. But yeah, they, they are quite, quite baggy, which is good. Because you can obviously get more than uh, one, one thing in. So I don't need that because I'm not doing any full ones anymore. And I don't need that. Okay, so next one. I'm going to do that one off camera because <coughs> I've just done the same um, one. Let's just take that top off. It got the glue, you know, from the... Um, back of the scrapbook pad when the glue's over at the top so that one's going to be for that one is that long enough no so i could do that as a little band so and this is obviously not just using up what we've got they're going in my scraps because I'm going to do some um, little edge strips. Right. I don't need that anymore either. Okay. Yep. Come on. Maybe if it was in like some kind of dispenser, it'd be easier. I don't think it'd go in my sellotape one. You know, that's a bit low, but we won't worry. So I'll put that through the middle. Bring that round. And that round. So now we've got got a little band in the middle and obviously however you stick them down you can go under and and that so that's that one what else have we got left so we've got this long piece so let's have um a long one through the middle Okay, put some at the top and the bottom. 
So great way to, you know, these you could do these with your journal cards out of kits. Um, and it's a good way to use those more square um, or rectangle images from, from books. You could also do them with, um, you know, music paper behind them. Collage, what, whatever. And then use some of your scrap card up if you want a thicker, a more sturdier pocket, should I say. Right. So that's about there. That's about there. I don't think that's quite in the middle, but I can. I can live with that. Yeah, I think that's already stuck. I've got a little bit. Oh, mind you, it, does, it doesn't particularly matter because it's on the back. But yeah, I've got a little piece of vellum, um, coloured vellum stuck to it. So I'm just pulling it, pulling it up. So there's no, you know, proper uh, baggy bagginess. And then we've got that there. So I could put another little card inside could even put a little tiny pocket there so that's that one um that's not wide enough that way it's not wide enough that way we could maybe could we I was wondering what it'd look like in in the corner doesn't really does that it'd have to be So you would fold that bit and that bit. And you put that why doesn't it quite fit? Try it back on that side. That fits that side, does it? Oh. Come on, I want it this time. I want it to work. It looks triangle to me. Like, I've obviously just not got the, the right angle. Oh, sorry for messing. Just gonna rip that down. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> so it's ideal for that. So I'm just thinking, if I stick that down, I might be able to just, um, you know, like manipulate it round. Let's put that on the card. It might go funny, but it's worth trying rather than wasting the vellum. This is a um, 100 GSM vellum that I use. I don't know if it's vellum or tracing paper. On Amazon, it seems to say both in, in the titles. Right, a bit of a mess about, but 
we've got a corner pocket. Obviously, it would have been a lot easier <laughs> if I'd have just made one, but I wanted to use that piece of uh, vellum up. So let's get rid of those. So we've got two two bits left. Is that? Ooh. So I think we'll have to do another. Now I could do another pocket or another band, and I'm thinking another middle band because I could actually have two couldn't I so that's for that one and that's for that one I'll do those um, off camera so we've got one piece left and I think I'm gonna do um, a down down the side so I would want to be about there. So let's cut that off there. And then I can put that one on there so that will near enough use all the vellum up and, and all the cards. And I want to go about halfway. Let's go halfway in that plant. So I want to go about there. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that should be fine. So if I, I'm gonna put this down first, the, the side one. Um, yes, and then I will go away, finish those off, and then I'll come back and we'll just put some bits and bobs on them. And just to jazz them up a little bit. Okay. bulk cut that as well and cut that down and then sorry if I've moved to right down the table okay that one lovely Oops. might be best to peel it from that way now I've got it I've got it Okay, so that's that one. Really cool. Um, so with this one, I could either put a small pocket or a band. I think I'll put a small pocket and I'll save that um, for for another project. So I'll be back in a in a tick. Okay. They're all, all done now. So I've not really been inking these um, green things that I've been making over the last, uh, I don't know, several weeks. I want them um, like fresh uh, looking rather than aged uh, looking. So I've pulled some stickers out and the stickers I've gone for is the, um, they're not the vellum ones there. I don't know plastic um so yeah normally these are very shiny but i thought they'll they'll blend in uh nicer so i have a few stickers and then i have a few uh labels and and things so let's see what we could put on here that's nice 
Oh, let's take the glue there. Oh, it's got leaves on it. I don't know because it kind of looks lost then without it. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to use um, art glitter to stick stick these things uh, down. My, um, <laughs> my stainless, not really stainless steel um, pins. Gone rusty again because they're not stainless steel. <laughs> Yet I bought stainless steel ones. Anyway, so yeah, every few days um, I have to change change the pen because I'm not I'm not throwing them away and I'm not going to use them um, for anything for anything else. Okay, I'll we'll pop that on there. Do I want something up here? Oh, I like that. Uh, these two labels are uh, Shabby Dabby Doo -da labels. And then, like I say, the vellum is from um, my Nanine's Bluebell Wads. Okay, so that's that one. Lovely. And then we've got this band here. So I've got that would be nice. Um and the stickers are either from uh Tapology, um a bonjo or um stationary pal. Um I do have uh an affiliate link with them. And um, there is coupon code, so if you're interested in checking any of those shops out, if you go in my uh, links, which are in the description, um, the coupon codes are in there. Oh, I like that. Let's do, let's do that. These came in uh, all different colours. I've just pulled the green ones out yeah they're nice <laughs> those see-through um stickers are because you can't you can't see them whereas if i'd have used the the frosted vellum sort you know like these i think you would have you would have saw them you would have seen them yeah not saw them so that's that one do i want anything no, because we we can see that clearly. So that's that one. Um, I might have that round label on there. Again, these are from um, one of the shops I've just just mentioned, and I've tea stained them. In fact, these are from <coughs> your creative uh, studio box. So I was wrong about that. Oh, that's nice. Pop that there. I love this sagey colour. I don't. I don't think there was many of that sagey colour. Nice. Could do with. I didn't really pull out any any numbers. Quite like that. I don't want another blank label. Do I? I think that number will be too too big. And then I've got a triangle one, which <coughs> I think makes it look bit weird circles oblongs triangles yeah I'm gonna put that there so yeah don't don't take a lot of decorating at all because we can still see you know the beautiful beautiful images whatever you decide to to use so now we've got this middle one so let's see if we can get a oh lovely tall one so let's pop that on and obviously you can do these in whatever whatever theme um you're doing okay and 
don't really want to cover cover that but I don't know if that will um, catch what about no I don't like that yeah that should be alright if, if it's glued down properly okay if you've only just uh, joined us then I have been doing uh, some vellum projects every week and I think they're in make it Monday uh, playlist if you wanted uh, to find those and there's quite a few um, different things that we've done over the past couple of couple of months we've done creating um, extra journal spaces and um, using circles and now we're on to to vellum it's not the same colour but it is smaller so I'll look at that one yeah I like that I don't want that there, no. Oh, what about that one? Oh yeah, I like that. That's a, a Tina one from Shabby Dabby Doodah. The plain green ones are, these ones are from uh, the Bluebell Wood Cat. Nice. Uh, what's this one? Oh, that's that one. I don't want that on. I kind of want something there. I didn't pull out many, um, many bits at all. I could have done with one of those really tiny. I could have one. Let's have one um, halfway. I don't usually do that. Them. I, to me, I think they look odd. Now, when other people do them. I think, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when I do them, I just think, oh, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's that's that one. And we've got this full one here, so we could do it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think that just on its, on its own will be be nice or oh, got the big square one. Oh, let's do that <laughs> let's <laughs> um i hope you're liking the camera a bit closer why i'm doing um you know the smaller things i didn't feel like you needed to be uh too close up when i was doing the actual pockets but <clears throat> i know a lot of you have said that um, when i keep my camera like that you can't then see you know the little bits of of decorating um yeah let's pop that there i think that might be a pink uh monarch label so that's that one we've got a two here um I'm not sure whose this is. I like that. Let's pop, pop that there. The art glitter will will dry uh, clear, so it's not too much of a issue when it spills spills out some little daisies there and they've got little tiny flowers on so i'm going to pop those there oh colin might start barking the dog's coming down the road barking its head off i'm sure they just do it to to wind colin up i 
持ってるなこの感じ気にせんな Well, I might as well than, than not. I don't think it adds anything or, or attracts anything, so may as well. Just adds a, a tiny bit of, bit of interest. So that's that one. And another double one. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put that straight down. I might do the half one again because um, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm into it now. <laughs> do I want a smaller one or do I want? Let's have that other dark green. These these are very dark green um, images. Now I think the book is uh, Flora. Um, I've been going through my books and either fussy cutting them or cutting them into squares because um, <clears throat> when I do move downstairs when I've got a craft room I won't have the room for uh, books only you know two or three um, kind of things so I am trying to get some books used up I'm going to see if I can get that down down there I mean really I could cut it off couldn't I that's well I'll cut the thin bit off that's it oh that's lovely you can only faintly see it that's really pretty so that's that one. Got this big, big white one. So got some fern. That's a, a rose. I'm wondering about two. No, I don't know why I did that big snort at the same time. <laughs> that was a bit. Oh dear, I don't know if I like that or hate it. <laughs> I've not got a lot, a lot left now. Um, yeah, they don't really go with um, what I've got. Let me just have another shuffle um, in here. Let's see, I've mainly got oh washy uh, ones. Was that washy? Got a daffodil. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're like um, half and half. I've got mushrooms, but I don't want to use mushrooms. I think that one, uh, that one will be nice. That's, um, oh yeah, that is nice. So I'm going to pop that there. Do I want this? Yeah, I like that. Let's pop, pop that there. I think I'm getting ready to, to fill all the glues up again. It doesn't seem two minutes ago since since I did them. I've just put that a bit higher because I don't really want to block out those um, nice yellow flowers and obviously you'll still be able to see them under under there so let's unpeel that put that there I want to get this triangle in somewhere. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like it there. These triangles are from the bluebell, the bluebell wood cat. 
think they're from Nanine's uh, part, who is collage type. You can also find um, Nanine's links in my description. So that's that one. Oh, we're getting through them. Let's have a look at this tall one. Oh, I could have that one, couldn't I? Um, oh, I like that one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, yes, I'm going to do that. So if I pop that around there, I may have to tuck a little bit of the sticker um, round the back. I think it's a little bit too wide. Yeah, only, only just. Okay, let's put this label. Here, and then you can still see see the words underneath. I'm just gonna pull it down slightly. Okay, did I have a little part left? I did, is it the same colour it is? I'm gonna pop that on there. Don't like to to not use anything. Okay, so that's that one. Yeah, I'm loving them. Really easy to decorate, yet yeah, they look, you know, different. Oh, that's nice. Oh. There. No. I think I liked these better with the circle. Maybe it's the shape of that one. That's... Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to pop that back in the middle so you can see see the writing um, either side. I've tea stained those on uh, the plastic lace. So they've got a really pretty, pretty look. I've just had a cat. Yeah. It's a little bit wonky, but um, I won't tell anybody if you don't. <laughs> Am I like one of these? Nah. Yeah, I could have done with some little circle um, numbers. Let's have a look at this. No. No. I shall leave that like that for for now i can always add add a number another time so we've got two two bands they're not gonna fit they're not gonna fit so we've got oh that looks nice there no you know It's not the same. I think that's the same. No, that, I think that's too too uh, narrow. Yeah, it's too narrow, and it's took me all that time to to realise. No. No. Mm, that's nice and the sticker to on the wonk a bit I'm I'm not really good at doing things on on the wonk I do like things straight but I think it's it's just personal preference what whatever looks nice you know nice to your eye but yeah I will do that a little bit on the wonk Okay, that's that one. And the final one might have to. That's nice. 
Ooh, yeah, that colour goes very nice with that. So I've not really got anything left. Yeah, I don't know why I've got that number. I think just because it was a little bit greenish. I'm just going to pop pop that on and then, then that's them done. So I enjoyed that. I'm saying they do look really pretty for, you know, minimum um, amount of uh, decorating. So, I mean, obviously, if you've not got vellum, um, you can use, um, you know, like your plastic packaging. Um, be a bit more crinkly. Um, but, yeah, you could definitely uh, do it do it with them. So, yeah, we've made, made a ton. So, that is, that says. So, thank you very much uh, for joining me. And um, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. I'll be here. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.